Hey guys, what is going on? Jurgen from Zergrino Sports here, and today we are back at it again with our weekly episode of my SmackDown Raw 2008 GM mode. Uh, last time I had talked about making a tournament for to determine a number one contender for CM Punk's World Heavyweight Championship at the Great American Bash, I believe is our next pay-per-view. So um, I've gone ahead and done that. I think I said last time that I would set up the brackets and set up the match card beforehand because I'm going to be playing all of the tournament matches because uh, I like want it to go in a certain direction. Like I, I have in mind who I want to be the number one contender and I have in mind how how I want them to get there, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that's something. Um, and uh, yeah, man, let's let's get into our calendar here. So let's take a look at what they did last week. The competition uh, we've got raw. I don't know if I looked at this last time. I I honestly can't remember. But if I did, I'll just you know look at it quickly. I guess. Uh, so vacancy uh, fail four way women's match TLC match. I did look at this because I Triple H retained his title and I got sad. So I have looked at this. Okay, never mind. Uh, I think I probably looked at ECW two then. Yeah, because they had this clusterfuck of a tag team match. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, so uh, Raw has Vengeance coming up, so I gotta gotta make sure to keep my eye out for that, so I can try and slander them or steal some of their competition right before their pay per view. Um, and then we have our pay per view, and ECW don't have one for like a while because they get uh, they get randomly created ones because it's not fair if they don't have them every so often, right? Um, yeah, man. So we're at 9% GM of the Year award. I want to check out the ratings quickly, uh, like the fan support, what I mean. Uh, we're at 2.84, Raw is at 3.37, and ECW is at 2.86. So we're actually the worst of all of them. We had a little spike, I believe that was probably around Judgment Day. That's probably the day I had, the week I had Judgment Day, that I had that little spike. Um, EC, uh, Raw kind of ran away with it in, like, the beginning. Uh... Yeah, man. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, yeah, man. I don't know. The fucking... They're just... Both brands have just put on random-ass fucking matches. I don't understand how they're winning. Like, I, I honestly don't. Um, but hopefully we can turn that around soon. Uh, financially, we're pretty good right there. Three million in the bank. We can make a big signing if we need to uh, whenever I turn on Legends. Uh, Power 25, we got Ashley at the top, which is good for our brand, I guess. And Ray's in third. All right, so uh, I don't think there's anything else to look at. I mean, uh, I want to look at the morale. Uh, Ashley and Batista are content. Is everybody else happy? What the fuck? I thought Kenny Dykstra was mad that he was losing. What the fuck? Oh, maybe I offered him a contract, and he's like, oh, never mind, I'll take the money or some shit. Uh, Batista wants to win more, and Ashley wants a new contract, even though I gave her one, like, two weeks ago. So, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, we will get into our match card. Um, now, so, I have all the tournament matches, and then one non-tournament match. I will try and put a, uh, I'll put a picture of the tournament bracket I made on the screen when I'm talking about it, like, around it. Like, pretty much now, I guess. It's probably on the screen as I'm talking. Um, so, basically, the way I did it was, we, other than Punk, we had 13 male wrestlers on the roster. Um, and Matt Hardy's dealing with fatigue, so I just kind of, like, left him out of the equation. So, we were left with 12. So, what I did was I did a thing, I think it's called Seated, uh, where I put all of the champions automatically into the second round. Uh, so Undertaker, Kane, Tag Team Champions, MVP, US Champion, and Ray, Cruiserweight Champion, all four of them are automatically into the next round. So the rest of them, it leaves an eight-man bracket, you know, to catch up to that spot, right? So uh, Carlito versus Edge is in the first bracket, Helms versus Regal, Kenny versus Batista, and Chavo versus Jeff. And uh, you can, obviously, I, you can see on the screen where the placements are of. Uh, the matches in relation to the second round seeded player, uh, players, wrestlers. Um, I thought that was the best way to do it, you know what I mean? Because that, you know, logically, like, if you're a champ, if you're the best in your division, like, you, you're a step ahead of the rest, so you should automatically be in that next bracket, you know what I mean? Uh, obviously, there could be, like, a champion who won dirty and stuff like that, but you can't really do, like, 
um, you can't really have like a false finish, like a. I don't know why I keep burp, but you can't really have a dusty finish in this uh, general management mode, which is kind of like a little bit unfortunate. Like you can't have somebody run in and cost somebody because if you could do that, like that'd be great. Um, but you can't. So that is our bracket. So for this match, uh, we're starting off with Helms versus Regal. That's the first match of the night. Then we're going to Batista versus Kenny. Then we're giving Helms a new interview space because I told you guys I want to give him a, a push. Uh, I want him to be a main cruiserweight guy. Probably come SummerSlam or uh, No Mercy. No Mercy at the latest. Like that's I think enough time to get him around like 80 popularity. Um, but yeah, then we have just the random tag team match just to use the rest of the guys. We've got the champions who aren't competing except for Ray um, because Ray is a face. So I put Punk with MVP because I think I have MVP as a heel. Uh, and then Undertaker and Kane, I believe, are faces. So that's what I've gone and done there. Tag team match just to use the guys who aren't being used uh, right now. Then we've got the Jeff versus Chavo match. Then we have the inactive superstar promo just to keep Ray's popularity where it is. I think it's like an 88, 89, something like that. So I don't really want that to drop. So I've put him on the in inactive superstar uh, promo slot. And then the main event is Carly vs. Edge. Uh, it's the tournament match with the highest popularity combined popularity between the two um i could have put the tag team match up there because you got undertaker who's like at 89 popularity as well and mvp who's i think in the 80s by now punk's like 86 kane's like a mid 70 i think but i mean like they have the most popularity so logic like you know i could have put them in the main event but i want the tournament to be the focus um obviously you can't even do a tournament in the gm mode otherwise like if i could actually like make a tournament in the gm mode that'd be cool Obviously, there's no point mentioning it because this game came out in 2007, so it's not like there's going to be any updates for it, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I wish you could have done that. I wish they would have included that, like, you can start a tournament for your brand, and then, you know what I mean? That way it would actually count as a tournament, but it's whatever, so... Yeah, man. So that's our card for this week. Uh, I'm going to be playing all of them except for the tag team match because they are in the tournament matches. So we're going to start off the show with your boy. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, I didn't I didn't confirm the match card. So yeah, this, uh, this looks good. We got all the tournament matches here and then that one and then Ray won't drop in popularity. Uh, Matt might and Ashley might, but I don't really care. Uh, I mean, Matt's injured anyways, and I care more about Ray than I care about Matt at this point. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, man. We will lock in our card, and we will start the show off with Helms versus Regal, man. I'm going to be Helms, obviously, because like I said, I want to give him a push. Um, I don't know if I've done Regal versus Helms before. I know I've done Regal versus Kenny a couple times, I think. I, I did it at Judgment Day for sure. I don't know if I did it the following week. I think it was against Kenny the following week, but yeah, man. Hopefully this isn't uh, like a repeat match or something. I don't think I had Helms versus Regal last week, so as long as it wasn't last week that I had them against each other, if I did at all, I'm fine. What's wrong with this Titantron? It's just Pink Fuzz? Hello? Is this Titantron fucked? <laughs> Is Titantron? Is Titantron glitched? This is Pink Fuzz. What the fuck? Oh, man. Anyways, we are going to take a sip of this uh, Monster Energy Drink Zero Ultra, you know what I'm saying, please sponsor me, to help guide us through uh, these tournament matches and to keep me awake because I'm tired as fuck, even though I woke up like two hours ago. So, you know. Oh, yeah, that's so good. Please sponsor me, dude. Please. I beg you. Please sponsor me. It's time. It's time to whoop some ass with Gregory Helms. Let's go, man. Let's -a go. Uh, I'm excited for this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of tournaments because, like, it's just... You can incorporate story, but it's about the wrestling most of all. And, like, you know, the wrestling is what... I don't know. The wrestling was what hooked me as a kid. And then I, like... The stories obviously, like, came after, but, like... I don't know. Regal's Titantron's working at least. <laughs> Fuck you know. <coughs> oh man. I don't know. I might watch all the entrances for, uh, except for Undertaker, of course. <laughs> I might watch all the entrances for the tournament just to make it feel like a 
more real thing, maybe. I don't know. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of tournaments, man. I'm just... Because, like, I don't know. A lot of people probably got intrigued by wrestling because of all, of, like, the bright colors and shit like that. But, like... I don't know. I just... I, I can't really remember the first match I watched, but it might have been with Eddie. It was somebody really technically sound, like Eddie or Benoit or, you know, somebody like that. Or, uh, like, Ray, I guess. Ray's not really technically sound, but, like, he's... I don't know, he's just really good in the ring, right? So, I mean, obviously he's more of a high flyer, but like, you know. Um, I don't know, it's just, I saw a really good match as my first match. I can't remember what it was, unfortunately. I think Eddie may have been in it, but you know. Um, yeah, man, I don't know. It's just the wrestling aspect of professional wrestling hooked me at first, and then I began to love the, uh, the like, you know, kayfabe part, the storyline part, and all that shit like it for the most part um i mean there there have been some fucking stinkers especially since like 2009 uh <laughs> fuck man like some of the ideas that vince has it's just like what the fuck like he had a match against stephanie at like vengeance 2003 or something fuck he's coming out of the gate yo whoa regal hey regal fuck regal please Regal, please stop. I think the is this an actual is this an actual submission or is this just a move? Nothing left to give. And that's the attitude you have to take to win. Oh fuck, that's a curb stomp. Hello, fucking uh Super Dragon? Is that his name? The guy who's stiff as fuck in PWG? Or the guy who looked stiff as fuck, sorry, I'm I haven't wrestled him, obviously. I'm not a wrestler, so I mean he lo it I'd be terrified to wrestle him though. I've watched like highlights of him. Um, I guess like Kevin Owens and shit like that like I don't know there was one night where I, I saw like a PWG highlights thing um, like a montage or whatever and I recommended on YouTube I watched it and I just I ended up watching a bunch of PWG fucking uh, videos and uh, that's another fucking curb stomp right there and uh, yeah Super Dragon guy just fucking terrified me every time he did his fucking moves I'm like holy shit how's that guy not dead look at this Ooh, beat his ass. That's what is this? Oh yeah, Irish leg, uh, Russian leg sweep, Irish leg whip. What the fuck was I saying? Russian leg sweep is what I wanted to say. I don't know why I said Irish leg. What? I don't even know what the fuck I'm on about, man. Ooh, that's a European uppercut. Close range, baby. Let's go. What is this? That's another elbow drop. Elbow drop. Damn it, dude. It's too easy. This game. Did I forget to put it? Oh my god, I want to die. I want to fucking die. Son of a bitch. I swear, if I forgot to put it on Legend again, I'm gonna. Oh, fuck me. Fuck my life. Okay. I mean. <laughs> All right then, what? Please stop! I'm in the ropes, ref. Ref, stop it, please. Get him off. Okay, I reversed anyways. It's fine. Ooh. He doesn't have a striking combo, but what's this? What's it? Am I gonna knee him in the head? Yes, I am. That's a knee directly across the face. I accidentally just hit my desk, so I think my mic may have picked that up. Apologies for that. Oh man. Oh, look at that reversal, baby. Oh shit, he keeps reversing my shit, man. This, this is some good back and forth. Too bad these guys have shitty popularity. Otherwise, this is maybe able to get like a three star or something. But it's gonna get like a one star or two star because they both have shit popularity. <laughs> Ooh, he missed. Oh shit. Are you trying an actual submission on the outside of the ring, you fucking cuck? Are you kidding me right now, dude? Are you... God damn it. Let me out. Let me out. If I get counted out because of this, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be pissed. Let go of the submission, you bitch. Stop. Jesus. Ooh, that's a kick to the fucking stomach. Yeah, slap his head. Fucking slap head. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, okay. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chance Stop, to stop, stop. Fuck off, man, please. That break your focus, Ooh. That's easier said than done. Ooh, look at that arm drag thing. I think someone's been taking flying lessons. Look at that. What is this? That's a leg drop that didn't come to fruition. Ooh. Does he have a springboard? No, he doesn't. Okay. Oh, shit. No, I'm done. Okay, yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god. Oh, okay, so big fucking news in the in the wrestling YouTube community. Why are you trying that? Jesus fuck. Fucking uh Adam, Adam, Jack, Ross, and Sam left uh left what culture wrestling. Well what what culture in you know whole in the whole like you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's a very big blow for what culture, you know what I mean? Because those are like the main guys, like that's the core. Like, what culture would not be anywhere near where it is today without those guys? You know what I mean? Like, especially the two Adams. Um, and Ross too, like, w WTF moments. WTF moments, if I could fucking, <laughs> if I was literate. Um, like that that got like a lot of traction I'm pretty sure on their YouTube channel so like you know and Jack was decent too you know what I'm saying so it's like and Sam's a really good editor um, why did that go to the ref Nick Patrick you fuck uh, but yeah I think a lot of people are gonna unsub I mean a lot of people have been unsubbing like ever since like that happened uh, I'm I haven't unsubbed yet but that's just because I forgot to. I'm, I'm gonna unsub for sure. Because uh, it's just like, the other guys are fine, but it's... Yeah, you know, I don't know. You build a brand with a certain identity, and then you take the identity away. And it's like, well, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Um, it's like when... The spoilers ahead for The Office. It's like when Michael left The Office. Um, like, The Office became very low standard after that. It only picked up during like the latter stages of the last season. Um, so when you lose somebody or or people or something that important to like the brand of a company, it's a nice finish out here, boy. Boom, a shakalaka. He's only orange, so maybe he kicks out of this. Oh, he did. I'm gonna argue. Argue. I'm trying to argue. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I hit my desk again. I need to back up. Um, but yeah, like, it's just, it's a really big blow for the company. Um, and, you know, like, it's just, and it's unfortunate because, I don't know. Because, uh, like, I think What Culture Pro Wrestling is going to keep going. I didn't watch What Culture Pro Wrestling. I don't have enough time to watch that much wrestling, you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah. I don't know. It's just... I th the what culture will probably drop under a million subs maybe by the end of this year I mean it's late September now right so I think maybe by the end of this year they might drop under a mil but I think dropping under a mil is probably going to happen like it's probably it's a possibility um, I mean they lost probably like 5k a day on average I think uh, like I I'm just trying to go off my very poor memory of a glancing look at their social blade, so, um, yeah, I don't know. And so, because, like, a lot of their fans don't follow them on Twitter, right? So it's like, they don't even know yet. And then when the majority of the fans who are just on YouTube find out, like, they're gonna be like, well, fuck, peace out, dude, I'm gone. You know what I mean? Um, so it's just, it's a really big blow for, oh, I have a, oh, I have a Shining Wizard! Okay, I have to do it from the ground to get the Shining Wizard. Yes, boy, that's gonna be my finisher. I love the Shining Wizard, dude. Especially Gregory Helms' Shining Wizard. Fucking hell, that's some top shit right there. That's done. Try kicking out from that. Boom, that's the three count. Um, but yeah, it's it's just a huge blow. Uh, they've already, the five guys who left, they've already teased like they're doing their own side project, uh, which I'm going to, if it's on YouTube, I'm going to subscribe to that new channel that they make because uh, those are those guys make really good content, you know what I mean? And they've got a really good editor in them, in Sam. Uh, yeah, man. I don't know, it's just... The, the, the question is whether they wanted to leave because they wanted to do a new thing or they wanted to leave because the like owner pissed them off or the owner like got like told them to leave it, it, it's just the situation is what's most intriguing to me because like a lot of people have spoken very poorly about the uh, the what culture owner like the owner of what culture the boss like a lot of people have spoken very poorly of him uh, especially this guy who posts like a really long response to the the guys leaving on Twitter he posted a really, really long, long excuse me if I could speak response to like how the 
you know, and it's just a terrible person to work under, you know what I mean? Sorry, I had to take a sip of that monster energy, please spot. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's going to be hard for them to bounce back, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, it's just... I don't know. Is it, like... I just want, like, I don't know. Out of curiosity, it doesn't matter because they're gone, right? But out of curiosity, I want to know why they left. Like, I don't know if, like, they kept putting ideas to the owner and then the owner was like, nah, nah, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that shit, you know what I mean? Or, like, the following contest yeah, is it's just, I don't know. It's an interesting situation. I don't think what culture will be able to bounce back, really. I mean, because like Jules is fine, and uh, the Ben guy is fine, and the other Adam guy, Adam Cleary, I think is his name, the Game of Thrones guy. Uh, like, he's fine, or whatever, you know what I mean? But it's just like, I don't know, and that, uh, Richard or something? The guy, the guy with the beard, the Hobo Joe, I think, was his... Nickname, I guess. Um, we're gonna skip Batista's entrance. Fuck that shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, they're all fine. It's just like... I don't know. It's, it's just like, it's... It's pretty much The Office after Michael. Like, you've still got good people left over, but the, sh like, the whole overall thing just becomes very poor. You know what I mean? Because, like... John Krasinski, who played Jim, and, like, uh, Jenna Fisher, who played, uh, Pam, and, like, R you know, Rain Wilson's an incredible actor, and all, like, all the people in the office were great actors, and their characters were great, but it's just, Michael was the essence of the show, just, like, those five guys are the essence of what culture wrestling, you know what I mean? So, like, the other aspects of what culture won't be affected, like, the gaming part won't be infected, I don't think, and, like, the main part probably won't be affected, like, the part that focuses on movies and TV and shit like that, um, because, like, I mean, I know Adam did voiceovers for them, but he wasn't as big on that channel, you know what I mean, or that section of what culture, it's just, the what culture wrestling, uh, side of things is gonna be severely affected, but yeah, that's just, that's my take, uh, <laughs> I went on for pretty long about that, but, you know, it is what it is, Hopefully they have a thing on YouTube, though, the guys that left, because they're pretty entertaining, so. The thing is, like, they probably won't be able to do, like, Adam vs. Adams and shit like that, because that's probably, like, what culture probably have the rights to that. That, I just killed Kenny with that. He just killed Kenny, right? That's, that's a South Park meme, I think, right? I haven't watched South Park, really. Like, I've watched episodes here and there, but I've never been, like, really into South Park. I probably should get into it, because it's a lot of, like, crude humor. Like, offensive humor, and I love offensive humor. Uh, <laughs> but, you know. Getting the corner. Boop. Oh, Jesus. That's my fucking shoulder out of its socket. That's me knocked out Bill Goldberg style. <laughs> Oh, he reversed. Stop, stop, Kenny, 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 Kenny. Excuse me. Bruh. Bruh. Stop, Kenny, please. Stop. Damn it, Kenny, you piece of shit. You absolute piece of shit. Why am I selling that so much, man? It's not fucking... It's not Stone Cold. Don't fucking... Oh, <laughs> he was selling my punch in it, and he dodged a bullet. He was too low for my clothesline to hit. That's that's kind of funny. What is this? Ooh, what is this? We're going to drop, in on, drop him down right there. Sidewalk slam, I think that is called. That's a burp right there. Ooh. Yeah, and 10,000 paying customers can't be wrong. Shit, dude. Shit. Oh, he keeps man, reversing it, man. Why? Please. You, partner, but it's gotta <laughs> Please. Sooner or later. Well, whichever way it goes, no one can say that these superstars didn't give it everything they got. Ooh. Oh, he reversed. Shit. There's a nice little back and forth here. Look at that. Go oh shit. Oh. At the same time. You Damn, dude. Stop. Holy, he's reversing all my shit. <laughs> that was a text 
Man who's on like the biggest losing streak in history. He's only won... Has he won any matches? No, he won that one handicap, which is why I fucking punished him with <laughs> all those handicaps afterwards. Oh, we're gonna end this quickly. Just gonna be a nice squash for Batista. Does this one go into the pen? It does. Okay, that's it. He's not kicking out. What'd I say? He ain't kicking out of that shit. Nice little squash for Batista. We'll get some popularity for him. I wish, I wish that, I don't know, man. It's just like, this is such a good mode because you can be a GM and I like love that aspect. But the reason I want like a new GM mode so bad is because they can add so much to this mode. Because you could have it so like a win in a certain time period gives you more popularity. Because if you beat somebody in a minute, right, without like being contested, you're going to be more popular amongst casual fans than you are going to be if you fucking face Kenny Dykstra for like 10 minutes and like then get a win. You know what I mean? Uh, so it's like... I wish they had those kind of like mechanics in the game, but obviously this is an older game, so I don't think it would have been possible, or like they just didn't have the resources to do it or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's just that's why I wanted a new fucking GM mode so bad in 2K18, but they didn't do it, and their bullshit excuse was that there wasn't a draft this year. The superstar shakeup was just people switching over and over. But the development for the game would have happened way before the fucking superstar shakeup, so I don't understand their logic in that sense, because like. You know what I mean? Like, fuck off with that. Like, that's bullshit. They just didn't want to do it. Hopefully next year. Maybe if somebody signs a petition, we gotta get somebody famous to sign a petition, man. And just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, man. We're gonna simulate this. Because it's not a tournament match. Alright, Undertaker and Kane get a nice little win there. And now we go on to the third of the first round tournament matches. Jeff versus your boy Chavo. We're going to be Jeff Hardy, obviously. Uh, he is the guy I plan on having win the whole tournament. Hopefully it goes to, uh, you know, goes, gets, you know it happens. <laughs> but I want to set it up so the final four, pretty much are all people that, like, are high enough popularity that it makes sense that they fight them anyways, you know what I mean? Well, for the most part. But, yeah. Am I, was I way off beat with that? I don't even know. I probably was way off beat with that shit. I don't even... Holy fuck, I don't even care though, to be honest. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <coughs> and the opponent dun, dun, from El Paso, uh, Texas, weighing 200 pounds, Chavo Guerrero. Ooh, Chavo. I just, I love Chavo's theme so much, man. I miss Chavo. Is he retired now? I think he might be retired from, like, in-ring competition. Because he hasn't wrestled in Lucha Underground for a while, right? I think he's just, like, a backstage consultant now, like, or on the creative team or an executive producer or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if he's, like, officially retired or if he's just taking a break from in-ring work or what. But he's, do he's, been, he's been doing it for a long time, so if he is retired, like, you can't really blame him, you know what I mean? Ooh, look at that. We going straight to the top rope, baby. We going straight to the top rope for that motherfucking leg drop, you know what I'm saying? And we going for this forfeit. Okay, he fucking reversed the forfeity. Shit. That's a nice little burp there, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Oh. Oh wow, he didn't he didn't cut me off for that. That's nice. <laughs> Ooh, oh shit. Oh. Oh, German Supla, baby. There we go, man. We got one in this episode. <laughs> I, like, part of me wants to go into every wrestler on the roster and add the German suplex to their, to their, uh, to their, you know. Oh, German Supla, baby. Yes, he's at the double, boy. Yeah, I kind of want to go in and just make, have, like, the German Supla on everybody's moveset. Get him with this twist of fate. Bish, spike his goddamn head on the mat. Boom. We ain't done with you yet, Chavo, because you're probably only on, like, yellow freaking health and shit. I think the Jeff Hardy hairstyle is exactly what you might need to update your image a little. He's going for the pin. This could be it. 
Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Oh shit, never mind. I'm whooping his ass. He's at orange. Well, I think he may have just gotten to orange, like now. Because I don't think my finisher put him to orange on its own. He's building up ahead of Steve and he's about to let his opponent have it. And if his opponent is smart, he'll get the hell out of there. Ooh. I'm trying to I'm trying to look at Jeff's character because like his character model because I, I was looking I was playing my uh, my 2009 Road to WrestleMania with Punk which first episode should have came out uh, yesterday I believe yeah I think so well it, was, it came out today as I'm recording this but it's this video is coming out on tomorrow the Sunday so yeah it, it would have come out yesterday I guess um, God stop. You need dust. You oh shit. Ooh, yourself, shit. Oh shit. Anyways, I was mentioning how like his character models like pretty much the same, and the only thing that's different is pretty is like his hair is different for sure. I was thinking maybe like the belt color or the like the rope color or like the necklace, but the necklace is the same. The belt's white. The the the, the rope is white, but like maybe it doesn't have the yellow uh, parts of it in 2009. And I can't remember if his, like, sleeves are the same color or not. I think they are the same color, though. Like, one of them definitely is, like, mainly black with a light color. But I can't remember if the one on the right is the same. Ooh, look at that maneuver right there. No. There we go. Ooh. Alright, Chavo's done, man. That's... Oh, thank God. Okay. I was going to say I hope he reverses, but I didn't say it, and then he said it, and then he reversed it. We can't be squashing Chavo, man. We can't be squashing Chavo. Like, we, we want to build Jeff, but we don't want to, like, this, like... I mean, it doesn't actually have any bearing on his popularity in-game, whether it's a squash or, like, hour-long match or whatever, but, like, you know what I mean? Speaking of hour-long matches, remember when fucking... I think it was like John and and uh, HBK went like an hour long on Raw when uh, when you're like before Mania I think or just after Mania I think before Backlash because they had like a fail four way it was like Randy Edge Sean and Cena I think right that was the Backlash fail four way I think did I say WrestleMania 27 I meant WrestleMania 23. <laughs> Which I think happened in 2007, so that's why I. That's why I kind of got confused there. If I said WrestleMania 27, my apologies. <laughs> oh my, I'm. Jesus fucking Christ, I'm killing him. This is supposed to, like. Fuck, man, please. Why is Chavo so easy to beat on this game? Like, with whoever you play with, he's easy to beat. Like, I don't understand why. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fucking bitch, Nick Patrick. Ooh, okay, he got some offense on me at least. I mean, <laughs> ooh, ooh. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Looks like someone's moving up in the world. That's a 450. Nick Patrick is dead. <laughs> okay, man. What? Just. <laughs> I should have played the tag team match. Just... Oh, fuck. Okay, just put him out of his misery, man. Fucking hell. God damn it. <laughs> Why? Even if you wind up oh man. That was that was bad. <laughs> that was just a complete and utter burial, dude. Fuck. Oh my. Here's your winner. Jeff Hardy. Yeah, man. Jeff moves on to the next round. Ooh. 
Jeff makes it to the next round, baby. Okay, I, I just, I really hope that Raw has title matches at their fucking Vengeance pay-per-view and Sean loses the championship and or Triple H loses his championship because then, in that case, Ashley is fucking moving to Raw and I'm bringing one or two of DX and Randy Orton with me. With, uh, for the, what? Do I, am I making any sense? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, man. All right. Uh, if I remember, I'm probably going to try and, like, overlay updated brackets as the matches, like, finish. Um, hopefully, I remember to do that. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to edit this today, but I've got a very bad memory, so... <laughs> uh, yeah. So, with, with this match, I don't really have a preference as to who makes it through, like, for the most part. I mean, both of them are around the same popu... <coughs> Excuse me. Both of them are around the same popularity. Um, Edge is like 80 and uh, Car Punk. <laughs> Carlito's like 78, I think. So, um, I mean, I want to play as Carlito because I like Carlito a lot. Uh, and like, I like Edge and everything like that, but it's just like, I like Carlito more, I think, maybe. Or, uh, not necessary. It's just like, I don't know. I kind of want to build Carlito. Meanwhile, Edge, like, I kind of want him as a tag team guy in this series if I can get Randy over. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know. It's not. I'm not really bothered about having Edge be like a main, uh, main event guy. Uh, eventually, I might make him a mid card guy. But yeah, okay. I'll, I'll be Carlito. I will be Carlito for this. Um, yeah, man. So this is the final match of round one in our tournament, man. Yeah. Uh, we've had one pretty like pretty competitive match between Helms and Regal, which is still gonna get like a two star, even though it was worthy of like at least a three because their popularities oh, suck. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, man. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Batista and Kenny gets like a decent match because Batista has high popularity. Hopefully, Jeff versus Chavo gets an okay rating, and this should get an okay rating because both of them have good popularity. Uh, both of them are high rated, so it should be an even match, I hope, <laughs> at least. Um, yeah, man. But people who don't want to be cool. Carlito, 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 Carlito. <laughs> I love Carlito, man. Uh, I really wish... Man, when they moved the, 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 the Shining Stars, or the, the Colognes, when they moved them over to SmackDown, they should have brought back Carlito. Because Carlito could have been like the leader and it could have been a faction and he could have gone for the mid-card title and they could have gone for the tag team titles and it would have been believable because they have that credible name and Carlito backed them up. But without Carlito, they haven't been on SmackDown TV in months, man. Like, come on now. Like, come on. I forgot they were even part of the company until I saw, like, WWE uploaded like a yearbook video or something today on their on their YouTube channel. I watched it I'm like, oh shit, the colognes are still there. <laughs> like... Because I, I remember there was, like, a story of them asking for their release, but, like, nobody knew if they were granted their release. But yeah, man. We're going to skip the rest of that entrance because, uh, why the fuck not? <laughs> That's pretty much it. Oh, man. Let's -a go. Carlito's gonna whoop your ass, dude. Ooh, that's a kitchen sink. Did I just hear a cough? Audio? <laughs> like an audio clip of a cough? Oh, it was a grunt. It was a. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't the same grunt that just happened, but. It was. <laughs> the grunts are unreal. Oh, that's hilarious. I don't even know. Like. I don't know if you can hear that in the editing. What the fuck was that? I don't know if you can hear that in the video. But uh, if you can, it's pretty funny. The grunts Carlito makes when he does some of his <laughs> some of his moves. It's so great seeing these superstars in competition here tonight. I had a feeling they're gonna wind up against each other sooner or later. Ooh, there were Ooh times punch him! Like yeah. Wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you Ooh. How oh! Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh! Okay, that's a DDT. Don't worry, Carlito. Your hair protects you. Don't worry. <laughs> 
exactly what we're seeing here tonight. Does uh does Carlito have any Germans? No, he has that teardrop suplex, which I, I think it's called a teardrop when I suplex. Heard about this match, I wasn't sure what to think, but these superstars oh. are blowing me away. Really? As soon as I heard about it, I expected a tremendous match. Ooh, and take I him down, baby. Did I just see I orange already? No, okay, it's still yellow. I'll talk about Ooh. getting stuck with you as a broadcast partner. Russian leg sweep, baby. Let's, uh, let's do a springboard with your boy Carlito. That's a nice little moonsaw right there. We can store that up. Uh. Really? Maybe I should look into that. I could get a better broadcast partner and save uh, the company some stop. money at the same time. Keep shit. It up. And you're gonna oh, find shit. out exactly how tough it is to do this job with your jaw. <laughs> rolling, baby. You can't do that to a roller, high flyer, roller, bitch, big baller shot caller, big roller shot roller, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying to be honest. That's a failed moonsault. <laughs> oh jeez. No, oh, okay, come on now. Come on now, please. Please stop, 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 stop. Okay, he's actually backing off. Wow. That, hello? <laughs> Ooh, look at that sunset flip uh, power bomb. Maybe that's what it's called. I don't really know. Stop. I'm trying to figure out what his secondary move is. Damn it, man. Because I know in like 2010... It's like a really weird, like, cool move. Oh, he has a Hurricane Rana into a punch combo. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. This has not been competitive, though. I don't know why William Regal was more competitive against <laughs> fucking Gregory Elms than Carlito versus Edge is. Because, like, Edge has a higher rating than Carlito, I'm pretty sure. Um, you know, Jeff and Chavo was like, okay, like, that's kind of reasonable because... Chavo's overall is lower than Jeff's in the game. Uh, Batista versus Kenny was fine. But, like, Helms and Regal are around the same. And Edge is, like, higher than Carlito. So I don't know why he's been so easy. Oh, I, I, I forgot there's no guard option in this game. That's, that's cool that they have that animation where, like, if you get up and then you stop pressing A to get up, it, uh... It makes you fall down. That's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool animation. You know what I'm saying? Oh come! On. I'm gonna hit the ref with this. <laughs> it didn't stop my animation. It didn't stop my animation. That's hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Holy fuck! What was that? Man, what a match. Kids, if you're watching this, don't try this stuff at home. Absolutely not. These are trained WWE Ooh, superstars. that's a reverse Even DDT, baby. Seriously injured sometimes. That's for sure. I think someone's been taking flying lessons. Ooh, that's a fucking missile drop kick, bruh. That's a missile drop, drop kick, baby. Stop. Stop with the res these reversals, please, Edge. Ooh. Ooh, that's an arm drag. You think you can nick Patrick, you motherfucker. You got in the way. <laughs> you got in the way, you bitch. Oh, shit. Stop. Ooh. What does the trash can do? Like, I, I still don't understand. It's like a... I know it's a... Oh, it's the, uh, it's the low blow finisher, isn't it? I think that might be what it is. Shit. Oh fuck, I have orange head health. I gotta be careful. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Ooh, right in my fucking balls. Come on, there we go. I should have used my uh I should I should have used my roll up after that. That would have been funny. No, stop. Edge. Oh no, I'm gonna die here. I'm dead. I'm de oh I reversed it. Ooh. No, stop. 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 Edge. 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 Shit. He's he's turning it up now. 
Damn it, this isn't what I wanted to do. I want to bring his ass into the fucking exposed turnbuckle. Oh, you're a shit. I have to agree with you, partner. I would oh, shit. wish this on my worst enemy. Head first Ooh. right into the turnbuckle. Yeah, oh shit. On that turnbuckle has been Ooh. There's Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> That's John Cena's move. There's a superstar with guts. These top rope balls, though, are I mean, ripped. my feet hit, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> At least there was some connection. Nothing wrong with keeping the paying customers happy while you build some momentum. Shit. Ooh. So Carlito's a face. I probably should change that, make him a heel. Um, for the slightest hint of weakness in the oh fuck. That's the law of the jungle and injured superstars like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at one hundred percent, stop. You've got stop. To be able to edge, edge, please. Nice oh shit. He's got another one of these. Well, I personally look forward to a clean, competitive matchup. They sure are. And you know that's going to have an effect on this. I tell you. Yes, boy. I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Ref, count it. Ref, count it, please. Damn right. You use your specialty. I'll use my specialty, okay? You, you use that low blow bullshit. I'll use my fucking roll up bullshit. Don't try me, Edge. Don't try me. I know this game. I've been playing this game for over a year. All right? Don't fuck. <laughs> Uh, I'm the master of this game, you know what I'm saying? The master. Fucking make competitive SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, I win every time. I will do it every time. Oh, he's gonna spit his apple in, in Edge's face. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Spit, spit that shit in his face. Do it. Boom, bitch. That's what you get for trying to beat me with a fucking low blow, you piece of shit. Win with your actual finisher. Bitch boy. Carlito ain't nothing to fuck with, dude. Carlito goes on to the next round. Uh, <laughs> to face your boy, The Undertaker. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's going to be a tough match for him. <laughs> okay. Now, we will go ahead and skip to this day. And then, ooh, I got a... Uh, what is this? An injury-free month. I got 1%. Okay, fair enough. I mean, isn't, uh, was, <laughs> wasn't Matt already injured? Or is that like a, does it have to be a serious injury for that to count? A minor injury you can still wrestle through, right? I think that might be what it was. Let's take a look at the roster to see, wait, 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 wait. What's happening here? What's happening here? What's happening here? Thanks for the recent push. You want a new contract. <laughs> And he wants a new contract. And he wants a new contract. Thanks for the rest. I'm ready to get back on the show now. You're still injured, dude. Um, so you're ready when I say you're ready. <laughs> uh, she wants a contract. Man, are you kidding me? You were like, oh, I'm losing every week, boss. I'm losing every week, boss. Give me a win, boss. I give you a win. You're like, yo, thanks for the push. Give me a new contract, baby. Give me a new contract. What the fuck, Batista? Like, come on, dude. Like, fuck you. Like, I have the money for it. It's just, like, the principle of it is fucking baloney, dude. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Matt's only... Okay, Matt's out for a week left. Okay, that's fine. I got a fucking hair in my mouth from my mustache, man. What the fuck? That's the, that's the, that, that, that's the part that sucks about facial hair. It gets in your fucking mouth. <clears throat> so we got these boys right here. Those are our champions. Uh... Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and train some people up. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and do some of that shit. We'll do a trophy date with. Uh, also, never mind. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Okay. Uh, I wish you would show you their popularity when you were here, right? Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. We'll give a. Uh, we'll give Gregory Helms. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Ooh, big success! Gregory Helms plus eight. That's so nice. Very nice. Okay, uh, we'll do another trophy date. This time we'll do one with... We'll do one with William Meagle, just to boost his a little bit. Ooh, big success, dude. William Meagle's one with the ladies. Look at that. Uh, okay. 
Jeez, what am I saying? Uh, let's give one to Chavo because he just lost. Oh, Chavo's not not as big of a hit with the ladies, Un unfortunately for him. Uh, and then one more trophy date. Let's do. Who could use some popularity? Do, 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 do. Let's give it to. Let's give it to Jeff. You know what I'm saying? Let's give some to Jeff. Why not? Jeff's not one with the ladies either, unfortunately. Wow. They did him dirty, dude. Okay, let's take a look at Raw. They got a two. Ooh, Raw got a two star, bro. They had two vacancies. You have a you have a freaking good enough. You have a deep enough roster to do more than fucking three matches, man. What the fuck they did? <laughs> what the fuck? Why are you putting everybody together like that? Fuck. And then that got three and a half. Fair enough. Whatever, man. Fuck out of here. Even ECW didn't have a. Oh wait. Aw, oh, damn it. I was going to say, if JTG somehow won that championship, John Cena would be on SmackDown right now. <laughs> Look at this. ECW even figured out how to fill out their whole fucking card, and Raw had two vacancies. Dude, get the fuck out of here. They had a three and a half star show, but they had a two, a two and a half, a three, a three, and a three and a half. All right, man, whatever. Let's take a look at what we had. We had a two and a half, really? That's it? Two and a half for that, two for that, three for that, Two and a half for that, three for that. Wow, okay. Um, I mean, I would have expected a three for this, and I think that probably should have gotten a three. Like, that, that two is fine, because it was a squash, but like, okay. Uh, 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 they had a two, and they had a three, so... Shit. <laughs> Let's take a look at WWE.com right here. Trade rumors. Trade... That's, uh, that's uh, spicy meme right there Ashley still at the top of the power 25 Ray is still in third Batista going up there Punk going down with that loss Kane and Undertaker going up with their win Carlito going up let's take a look at ours sorry uh there we go uh, MVP is seven uh oop. Gregory Helms man making his way up in the world look at that where was he at last time he was at 12 before before that Gregory Helms was last in 12th again. Was this uh, when I still had Michelle? Yes, it was. Okay. Uh, has Helms ever... Okay, Helms was not last there. He was there. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, he's making his way up in the world. You know what I'm saying? On our roster. On our roster. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, 10%. Uh, probably could be doing better, but I mean... You know, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, let's take a look at the fan support, I guess. We gained supporters, though. So ECW lost some. We gained some. But Raw gained some as well. So, yeah. Uh, okay. So we're catching up a little bit. Uh, yeah, man. Once I build everybody up. We'll be fine. Let's take a look at our people's popularity before we go. See where everybody is at with their popularity. Okay. <laughs> Kenny's at 30. Oh, Lord. Okay, so Ashley's at 100. Even though she hasn't appeared in like two or three weeks, she's still at 100. So that's that's fantastic. Um, Undertaker up to a 92 with his win. Batiste up to a 94 with his his or 90 sorry 94 is his rating 90 popularity with his win ray stayed the same because he wasn't on the card uh punk went down jeff went up because he won and then i trained it mvp went down carlito went up with his edge went down with his kane went up with his win very Humps is up into the 70s now that's very nice to see wasn't he like a 61 before this uh I mean, I know he got an 8, but did that win really give him that much of a popularity? <laughs> Matt Hardy stayed the same. Uh, he wasn't featured. Chavo went down, but... Oh, maybe Chavo was the one at 61. That is probably it. Yeah. Uh, and then he would have went down to 60, and then my 8 would have... Yeah. Okay. Uh, William Regal down, even though I just trained him, so... He was pretty low down before. 
Gregory Helms is an 86, man. Look at that. That's pretty good. And Kenny's all the way down there at a 30 popularity. So, yeah, man. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fucking go to the options before I forget. It is on Legend. There's no... <sighs> Bro, it's on Legend. Why is it so easy? It's too easy. I'm too good. I'm too good. I'm telling you, man. Make competitive SmackDown vs. 2008. I'll be the only one still playing this shit. And therefore, I will be the champion by default okay <laughs> and then i can plug my channel okay um so yeah that'll be the end for this week i will pop up the updated bracket in full uh one more time hopefully if i remember again <laughs> while i'm talking about this so as you can see carlito moves on to face taker helms moved on to face kane uh, Batista fa moved on to face MVP, and Jeff went on to face Rey Mysterio. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two tournament matches next week. The remaining two of that round, the following week, the week after that, one semifinal, the week after that, another semifinal, and then the following week will be the final, and I think that leaves me with, like, two or three weeks of build for, uh, the bash. Um, but I want this rivalry to go to SummerSlam anyways, so I don't need too much of a build for the Great American Bash. So that's not too much of a concern of mine at the moment. Anyways, uh, that'll be the end for this week's episode. Sorry, it's a bit, uh, like, short. I mean, it's pretty much an hour again, but, like, with the four matches played, I probably should have been, like, an hour, an hour ten. But, um, yeah, the game's too easy, apparently. <laughs> so, whatever. Um... Yeah, man. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, leave a like, subscribe, share all your friends, all that good shit. Check out the playlist if this is your first video watching. Uh, link is on the end cards, I believe. Uh, there's also links to my other series on the end card and if you on my channel on playlists. A lot of stuff for you to watch. Uh, as always, if you guys have suggestions for storylines, matches, uh, title changes, trades, anything like that, let me know down, uh, down in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Um, yeah, man. Uh, also, if you are a fan of what culture, leave down what you think in the comments about uh, the whole situation with the five guys leaving. And uh, yeah, man. Uh, that'll be it for this week. I'll see you guys next time.